Next story. The Biden campaign's press conference outside of DT's courthouse with Robert De Niro backfires as disgraced actor flips out while getting mercilessly trolled by DT fans. We know a lot about this guy. We know he hates DT. He's hated him forever. He flipped DT off in the middle of an Oscars when he went on stage. He is awful. He's part of the establishment. He loves Hillary. He loves Biden. This is this just goes to show you how many peds there are in the world, okay? Because at this point, with the world destroyed the way it is, Hollywood is literally crumbling because people can't afford an $18 movie anymore, okay? Literally crumbling, okay? All their woke hiring, all their woke scripts that they write, no one cares about Hollywood anymore, where this guy made his dole, and he just doesn't care. He's just like, oh, keep destroying America. We'll make money in China. He doesn't care, you know? And uh, that just goes to show you how many, uh, the whole country is just like wrecked right now. No one has money for uh, for movies. His industry's destroyed. They're having a strike to prevent AI writers, you know? Uh, but he doesn't care. He's just like, oh, I like kids. And so does Biden. I'm going to support Biden. Anyways, so he's still walking around with the basketball. Let's hear the, let's hear the crowd real quick. Anywho. Uh, oh, yeah. So <laughs> it goes on. Look at this. He actually did a presser and then he just gets heckled the whole way through. Here we go. I mean, this is really, even these people over here are kind of. Uh, these people, uh, these lower beings. It's kind of crazy. It's really crazy. And this, this thing, Donald Trump has created this. He should be telling them not to do this, but he's just. Yeah, he should instead tell them to do what all the black people did in 2020, right? Burn things down. He, he... Yeah. It's okay when Jews burn down cities, but not Trump supporters, not Palestinian supporters, right? Interesting. Interesting. Here we go. But this city is pretty accommodating. We make room for clowns. We have them all over the city. People who do crazy things in the street, we tolerate it. It's part of the city. It's part of the culture. Yeah, all the crime, right? All the black people who push single mothers of two who are Asian into subways for no reason. Remember that guy? Yeah. Do I see any outrage out of the black community? No, because they love it. But not a person like Trump who will eventually run the country. That does not work, and we all know that. Anyway, we make room for clowns to each his own. But no one takes him or took him really seriously. They take him seriously now, of course. Yeah, they take him seriously now that the country's destroyed and no one can afford the second piece of bacon for their kids anymore. Right? Yeah. But he doesn't care. He's wealthy, so he just like he has all the money he needs in life, right? He didn't care about all of you. He doesn't care that uh, all his movies are just going to be uh, pirated and copycat by China and then they're going to make all the money from it, right? Under Trump, this kind of government will perish from the earth. Oh, look, 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 look. It's a crybaby on the right, this guy. This is a guy who uh, allegedly uh, was like like beat up on J6 and he like went on uh, the J6 committee and he's like, eh, be, 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 be. big crybaby, right? Probably can't get it hard. Probably can't get his wife off, right? Probably lays pipe like Aaron M. Holt, right? I'm kidding, Aaron. <laughs> I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait, maybe I do mean to scare you. If Trump returns to the White House, you can kiss these freedoms goodbye. If Trump returns to the White House, you'll be able to afford more eggs. If Trump returns to the White House, you'll have bacon for your family, for everyone. If Trump comes to the White House, you'll have $1.95 gasoline again. If Trump comes to the White House, minimum wage will finally go up because there will be no more uh, mooching workers allowed to be here. 
if Trump comes back to the White House, vets will have a place to live again because the moochers will be kicked out down south of the border. If Trump comes back to the White House, all the wars and all the new wars that Biden started, one in every continent, will come to a halt. Now, yeah. anyways, what a, what a dope. What a dope. I mean, he needs to just drop already. Holy crap. Can you please get more boosters, please? Thank you. 